They yeah, did I'm unlock not, a thing on Teespring. I'm from Bristol. Uh, yeah, we, we got Francophiles, Hellhawks, and all that. We can do like full pattern dress. I could put your face all over a full pattern dress. Oh my God. I want one of those. Do they, I do do too. they sell them I in like it. 300? Do they sell them in like 300 pound man size? Because I kind of want one. Listen, I'll look into it for you. <laughs> And welcome back to Linux Game Guest Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. Uh, how do you kill something that's already dead? And yes, I am talking about the last remaining Vite Walker Interstellar Marines. We're going to address that. And GOG wishes Linux users peace among worlds in stereo earlier this week, but maybe, just maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit of a silver lining to it. And stick around for that. Valve doesn't want you to get too positive, even if you do want to have a Notre Dame good time. And after 10,000 years, you can finally play PCSX2 games online. And now you have two, plays to, two ways to play Final Fantasy XI under Linux. Valve talks about the top 20 of April. Gotta stroke those egos a bit more if you want to keep them away from Epic. And NVIDIA had a super announcement. It's nothing short of amazing how you can call something super without actually showing anything. Well, Ladies I'm super. and gentlemen, boys Thanks and girls, welcome back to Linux Gamecast <laughs> Weekly. I'm Vince Stone, that is Jordan Sfang, and that is one page of Mateus. And together with you, joining hey. us live, watching our like two-hour, three-hour-long pre-show, because the internet's like, no, don't do a show. And we're like, whatever, internet. We we It's not our first rodeo. <laughs> but together, everyone combined in a big, happy, happy family, known as Cocaine Voltron. Before we get started, would you like to see what's going on in each other's life organs? Man, I think we've ran out of material, lads, trying to fill time. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm fucking done debugging Nginx servers for a while. I'm going to go take a nap. There is that. Pedro, what's up, baby? Um, not much. Uh, yeah, I, I've been home all week, so nothing really that has happened for me. So, yeah, I played video games. That was nice. I walk a boring road. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> it's, called, it's called being a shut-in. Oh, man. It's better. Well, all right. Whatever. Hey, we got a new thing that's going on. We are now uh, official. I'm not making this up. YouTube influencers. We got like a blue check on uh, Amazon because this is what that is. is a new program with them. We got a store. More of that when we start shilling. But one thing, it did change our affiliate ID. So it's no longer like Linux Game Ca. Not Ca? Ca? Now it's Linux game cast dash 20. I don't know if anybody actually uses that thing, but it's there. That was kind of fun. And a little bit of uh, like happy fun news that we want to throw in there is uh, thread ripper power. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> power. What do you think that adds to? Um, What's the DDP on that thing again? 125 watts. Uh, you went from a 1700. It wasn't a 1700X, right? Nope. Okay. So from 65 to 125 watts. So it's about double. A <laughs> little bit. I mean, you know, then again, that's only at idle. Yes. It's only at idle when it does that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's only like five or five to seven dollars a month. So pretty That's still significant. <laughs> it's like... I, I, yeah. was, I don't know why I was expecting worse, but then again, we're walking into the summertime to where at like noon, it's 33 degrees. So power doesn't mean anything in the summertime. Just like, you just cut the AC on. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's only money. I'm willing to pay money to not melt. Indeed. Quality of life. One thing we've not managed to melt in all the six years we've been doing this is the horse. I mean, the, ho the horse kind of melted itself but with, you know, decomposing for, as you said, six years. It's the Steam Linux Update of the Week. All right. Ooh. So Valve has been talking about the review bombs, you know, when developers or publishers do something that people don't like. So they go and mass downvote their games mm -hmm. in order to send them a message. The Internet well, would uh, never do that, man. No, the, the, the internet is full of calm, rational people who never overreact, period. Absolutely. Um, yeah. 
Indeed. Uh, but in this case here, uh, and in the in the wake of uh, the whole uh, that one guy fucked up and accidentally burnt down Notre Dame Cathedral, uh, in in the wake of that, Ubisoft has been like, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna give away uh, Assassin's Creed for dirt cheap because it has like we we did an update for it that has like uh, one of the better um, simulations of the entire pre burned down Notre Dame Cathedral. We skinned the shit out of that cathedral. Did that piss the internet? Why were they angry about that? I've, I don't they, they, I don't think they were. Oh. Um, no, uh, people people like that actually, uh, and as and as such, a lot of positive reviews have been going up for Assassin's Creed uh, Unity, which was actually fairly critically panned when it got released due to a bunch of technical issues. But now, uh, now they're they noticed that there was an influx of positive reviews, and it got them thinking. Well, we we set up that uh, review bomb protection where we just don't modify the score based on a time period when we detect drama, quote unquote. <laughs> uh, but this is this is kind of the opposite in 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 the sense that. Um, a thing happened, a company did something for charity, and that was fairly well received. But the, the article also goes on at the same time, now now there's an additional value add to the game insofar as, yeah, they scanned the shit out of Notre Dame, so now if you want to experience the cathedral, you can do it inside the game. So that's a legitimate reason to buy the game. Um, the long story short, they're not going to do anything about it. Uh, if they were going to discount those reviews, it would only drop it by like maybe a couple percentage points. Yeah. Nothing mm -hmm. significant. Um, but it, it's some interesting musing about uh, content versus context and how it can affect those uh, purchasing patterns. Although, and yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. So they're, they're keeping it out for more positive review bombs. They might be, they're, they're announcing that they might do something if something like this happens again and it actually impacts the customer mm -hmm. reviews. Yeah, something tells me that any future positive review bombs will get this exact same treatment because it's like, oh, it's positive. So my question here is, how long until someone starts gaming this? Because what if, say, a game publisher does something naughty and another game publisher has a uh, competing product or any game that's even remotely seen as competing and people go and massively upvote that other game instead but leaving reviews to say that it's because of the other company that's doing crap. It's like, are you going to do something about that then, Valve? No, no, no. You, first, you get to have more faith in the internet. I mean, first off, <laughs> the internet would never do either of the things they've been falsely accused. Um, here's the thing, Brad. I'm going to say 100% at the end of the day. All of this is you're, you're trying to treat the symptoms and not the cause. You're never going to get rid of this. I mean, it, it, it will eventually flip to... Positive review bombs will be perceived as negative. Like, mm -hmm. oh, everyone look at that. They're really angry because they're getting a positive review. What this is, at the, and we've said it before, is people are angry at usually at developers or publishers, not the game itself. This is the only way they know how to communicate that anger because there's not another vehicle to do it. If Valve would enable reviews of publishers and developers, we're done here. This, this is not a problem. We can go back to actually, like, kind. But you know, it's, it's reviews on the internet, man. It's like YouTube comments. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. how much faith <laughs> do you put in them? I mean, you, you check the reviews to see if it's an absolute shit show. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty if much. it I'm, says I'm, negative, I'm, it's I'm, like, I'm, okay, why is it bad? <laughs> And I'm I'm pretty sure like it's it's gonna take a fairly significant move for Valve to actually like consider allowing people to review allow to post reviews of developers or publishers because that's just basically a targeted harassment engine. Mm -hmm. We we know we know how the internet works. It's just gonna be <laughs> enable shitty people. But to be it shitty. would be in that one place, and Valve could actually keep that under wraps. It's like okay, everyone gets to see that. It's just that no one really pays attention. Uh, to I, I think you maybe need to do a little bit of reading on game theory there, Pedro. I don't know, Anyways, what is the message? <laughs> I, I I wish I wish I could, but now I have to download another stupid app. So apparently, <laughs> Valve has decided. You know that Steam app that people use for their authenticator. You know that has that built-in chat functionality. What if we took that and like made it its own application? So that you need to have now three apps on your phone if you want like the full Steam functionality there. Sounds great. It seems a little. Legit, yeah. It's it seems it seems a little much. Um, I genuinely think that like the mobile Steam app would get a lot better adoption if they consolidated this all into like a single app. I know that's very anti Unix philosophy, but at the same time, I don't want to have to install like eight different things to go do to play games on my phone, right? I mean, Steam it's, it's, doesn't 
Well, except for the Steam Link app. That one technically lets you play games on your phone, but you're streaming them from somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like even Facebook got rid of the dedicated Messenger app. So what the hell, Valve? Why are you still wanting to compete with Facebook, with WhatsApp, and um, Discord? With I will their tell you why, client? because, you know, Valve actually started a little bit of motion Back when Discord rolled out, and they're like, we can do that to you, guys. They're like the <laughs> sloths in Zootopia. It's like, just you wait. Now the internet's moved on. We got our things. We're doing it the way we want to. Like, But we made our thing. Like, fuck off. Um, <laughs> at the end of the day, you really got to look at it like this, man. Do you actually use? Uh, maybe I, I asked both of you this, uh, and I ask everyone at home listening. Do you use chat? On Steam, I, 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 I thought about it, and rarely. I was like, well, maybe in six, what do we, we got? Like six and a half years, we've had Steam on Linux. I might have sent seven messages back and forth. Max. Yeah, it, it's it's really it's really just there to like ingest invites from people. There, game. yeah, that yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I mean, I I I I know I know Trugglesweek. We love him to death, but <laughs> fuck, he thinks that that's like a good <laughs> uh, that's it's a good method for like getting in touch with people. It's not. No, uh, it's mostly like, like I, old classmates from university for me. It's like, oh hey, only, uh, we haven't talked in a while. You only ever see those messages. <laughs> you only ever see those messages as you're shutting down the Steam client, and that chat window is the last one to go. And you're like, oh, yep. someone sent me something. Uh, it's gone. Yep. <laughs> that. Yep. <laughs> Oh, it's unfortunate, but hey, we got a new beta, Clyde. It's a new thing, yes. and it has. It didn't bring the thunder, nay, it just brought the rumble. Clyde beta, uh, it's just been updated. A couple of things: in-game overlay, it fixed dark rendering with Windows overlay that used the Vulkan Graphics API. That's brilliant. That's wonderful. For Linux, though, uh, rumble pass-through for virtual controllers. This fixes the mixing rumble support for any controllers opted into Steam input and rumble emulation support. Or that's right. It only took them three years. I wish I had a bell to ring. The rainy, we have Rumble support for our Steam controllers. That yep. uh, now, the only reason I'm entertained by this is because this motherfucker don't rumble, and <laughs> no. people don't read release notes most of the time. I know before I started doing this show, I didn't. It's like now, I, but this thing's going to rumble on somebody, and it's going to be surprise wall for it. <laughs> oh man, you, you remember the first time you played Dust and Elysian Tale and your controller rumbled and you're like, what the fuck oh, is happening? Yeah, you're like, ah, yeah. 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 It's, uh, it, except, it also except, fixes yeah. it also fixes the rumble uh if you enabled Steam input for the DualShock 4, DualShock 3. Uh if you enabled Steam input for that, you would lose Rumble before, but now that's been fixed and it works. <laughs> Yeah, it, the 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 one weird thing though is like it's that emulated rumble on the Steam controller, so it's just that it's the haptic feedback stuff going nuts. So it doesn't feel like an actual <laughs> good rumble. It's just like this. It feels more like there is something wrong with my controller because I know they've experimented with this before and then they disabled yeah. it because they're like pe people don't like this. But Did, I don't it, mind it as long as it's not crazy. What what was that game? Do you either of you remember that uh, activated if it started rumbling? That was it. You're like oh hell, then it would just rumble continuously. The culling was it? I don't. Re it, I just uh, had a good no, time it with it because then I was like putting my controller down, racing it on the desk, and like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let it go let's see who wins. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess in a bit of an effort to actually do something about uh, developers going to the Epic Store so they can get that little bit uh, extra protagonist. I was going to start sense. cutting checks. And paying them? No, no, oh. no, no. Uh, they're going to start uh, stroking developers' egos. Oh, and oh, okay. Developers and publishers. Man, because so, so you mean the developers are going to be paying their rent with egos? I guess. I guess uh, if they put the, the games in front of people, it's like, oh, okay, so more people are buying the game now, despite already being popular because they are a part of the, stop, the top Steam releases of 2019. Mm. And yeah, that's what this list is, because uh, it starts off with like totally accurate Battle Simulator. Yeah, that kind of came out of nowhere. It's like all the YouTube channels picked it up. And uh, there's a couple of uh, Linux games in there, uh, one of which L Pathway L we threw L literal, chairs at. Literally a couple. Literally two. Yeah, one couple. yeah it's uh, Pathway and Forager specifically. Uh, and it's 
you know, human beings are subject to flattery and protagonism, and these are the same kind of human beings that are going to the Epic Store because, hey, there's less people there, so if we release our game there, there's chances are more, at least the ratio will will dictate that more people will see it, right? In, in all fairness, <laughs> I, I mean, I definitely love the Epic Store as much as everyone else does. However... <laughs> You don't sort by like new releases or however that's done on Epic and see like vertical fart simulator. <laughs> no, you don't. Because that start. game is garbage. You got it. It's, it's all about the diagonal fart simulator. All right. You know, it, it is a start because it's minimum effort and it's something that Valve will easily be able to automate. It's like, oh, every month or like the month after, you get a post to show the top 20 games that were. Uh, that sold the best over the past month. That's it. That's so, all, the, I, that's all I mean, it needs to do. <laughs> low, low, effort, low effort does seem to be attracting uh, developers and publishers to stores, so it seems to be a good move on Steam's part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Like the the, the the sort of the sort of like manual ass curation was the whole thing that uh, Steam curators was supposed to avoid. Um, but I, I, I guess. Uh, it's not reaching enough people. Well, no, so I mean, now... the, the tools for curators, I mean, it's just junk. It's one of the things Valve said it and forget it and just like left it. They haven't really done anything with it. And mm -hmm. the, the the smallest mechanism that we had as individuals to actually curate what got on Steam was Greenlight. There, mm -hmm. I mean, it might have been and a that went away. <laughs> might have been a 3% chance that we could, you could downvote it like this is crap you know vertical fart simulator probably wouldn't have made it because like this is crap it's not going to get greenlit and i was like yeah that's too much friction hmm <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah just pay us a hundred bucks you can put your game up there yeah just, there just give us money and we'll uh just fuck it but we're a hundred bucks we're just really? getting rid of the pretenses come on in guys um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, the, the, they, they gambled on that, and it seems like they're losing now. Proton, though, is a good thing that Valve has put out, and they have a, they have a new version. This is the, um, what is this, uh, 4.2-5, the updated DXVK to spoilers. Um, they have some uh, support for Steam networking APIs, uh, which should fix some issues with a hat in time, and they have a bunch of controller fixes as well, so Unity games will play a little nicer. I'm actually curious, though, um, what the what the integration of Steam Sockets actually does here? Does that mean that if you're going to be running your games through Proton, automatically everything's going through uh, Steam's private network? Uh, Only if the game to... stuff is going through Steam's magical network. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. If the game um, already does that, then... Yeah, I guess that just makes it so if you're going through Proton, you're not going to run into any weird snags, but yeah, maybe, I guess the maybe, game would maybe, need maybe to be like going that, through uh, it. Yeah, maybe it is like that FNA thing where it's yeah. it's just there in ca just in case. But, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we don't know. We just have a one-line blurb from a changelog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, get, I, get the, I get the sense, though, that a lot of these uh, these uh, Proton updates are literally just going to be like, oh, DXVK released a new version, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that in the news. Well, I'm right? going to say... Yeah. <laughs> it, they, they've gotten better at updating DXVK quicker. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't take them, I don't know, three weeks. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, if there's nothing like under the hood big, I mean, at least get that, keep that current because that's moving yeah. at a frantic pace. Yeah. It's a uh, DXVK. And once uh VK nine uh, is, Do you think uh, we'll see the DXVK nine yellow turbo swag Dorito uh, by the end of this year, officially in proton by the end of this year. I don't know. By the end of next year, probably. Guaranteed. Yes, next year, definitely. This year is, I don't know. I I say, mean, I, the bulk I'm of the work October. is already done because the XVK already implements all of that but for DirectX 10 and 11. Mm -hmm. So the developer for D9VK just needs to, well, make it work with the X9. They just got to hug it out. Okay, yeah. that's our big uh, <laughs> chunk of steam. Let's get into a few updates. Starting with... Uh, yeah, I'm with you, Pedro. Marines. I'm with you, Pedro. I was like, I was like, what? This is still a thing. It is interstellar. Yeah, no, Marines. I totally keep forgetting this exists. ZPS Spectre, the developer. I think the developer left at la from last we heard of our hero. Um, it was just um, last man standing. He writes, "We're not dead yet. The rumors of our death have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, releasing update twenty eight, which a couple of things are updated. Uh, things are fixed." Which, you know, again, I'm the wrong person. If you don't know Interstellar Marines, man, this is 
the current reigning early access uh, champion, period. <laughs> it predates early access. I mean, this game was, was like out for like in some type of beat in like nine years before early access even came out. Really, really, is, release date is 2013. this the Unity yeah. one yeah. or the yeah. uh, this is Unity Unreal? Yeah, no, it's this, the this, okay, this it's is the Unity. Unity. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this. However, I mean, it's probably been what like two years since I've looked at it. And I was like, yeah, it looks like it looked like two years ago. Because I gotta mm -hmm. say this, I gotta say this, I gotta be honest with everyone is if you're gonna start an announcement out with rumors of our death, it's probably dead, Jordan. <laughs> Motherfucker, I went to the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't come back. Forced. Yeah, <laughs> we um, had a video. On I, it. I, I, yeah, uh, I mean, according, according to the Steam charts, average players in this game uh, these days is about two point eight. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's dead, Jim. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, a multiplayer first-person shooter game kind of needs more than almost three people playing it <laughs> in order to stay relevant. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I don't know, Pedro. Do you, do you count as point eight of a person? <laughs> oh, Look, I'm only missing some figures. The rest of me is still here. <laughs> right. Get 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 me the exact percentage amount. <laughs> we'll talk. You know what we could do? We could get everybody together uh, this upcoming Friday, and we, we could play Interstellar Marines, but make it private. So like if oh, yeah. those three people are like, no, people are playing <laughs> no, someone we, else. We wanted no, to we, play we, with you. <laughs> we can go to the publisher and literal and say, we have literally doubled your player count. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, no. Um. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, up next. Streets Rook. One of the things that uh, came out with the uh, humble, tiny build bundle was Streets of Rogue. And it's a game I'd never played before. It's basically what if GTA was a roguelike. Uh, and this one is, well, uh, there's a new beta out for it. So if you got the game on the uh, on the little bundle there and you want to help the developers, it's like, you know, figure out what they should be doing with the game and actually test the new graphics and the new UI and controls and a bunch of new stuff that they implemented... They give you the description of how to do it. Don't worry, there'll be a link in the show notes. It's really easy. You just right click and you go to the beta. That's it. Uh, it, yeah, it's GTA roguelike, like the old GTA is like with the top down view. Uh, Gene Shift, we talked about that. Gene last Shift, week. man, they got an update. Yeah. It used to be greedy car thieves. <laughs> this, however, um, Streets of Rogue, they had like an early preview build probably like seven months ago. Mm -hmm. And I remember just yeah. trying that out over a weekend. And I'm not a huge fan of roguelikes, but the... I don't even like the art style. The sense of humor in this game, I played it for 40 minutes. <laughs> I, like, I mm -hmm. dig this. I dig this. I, I, I'm I looking forward to keeping track and eventually throwing a chair at it. Indeed. Still in yeah. early access. Pro probably will be for the foreseeable future. I don't know. Um... Dead Cells has an update, too. Yes. Um, this is update 13. It's available in the bed branch. You can ingest it. Um, and it's basically a big old game balance update um, based on a bunch of player feedback. All the updates typically boil down to some of the enemies were a little too good in the context where they're encountered. So they get nerfed or their environments get nerfed. Uh, they're also trying to make aggressive builds a little more viable because as it turns out, once you get higher up in levels and in boss fights, basically blocking becomes the one good strategy because you can just do chip damage until the enemy dies. Um, it's good that they're still updating it though. Uh, we threw some chairs at it, and we had, I think we had some fun with it. Um, mm, yeah. If you if you if you're a fan of like Metroidvania roguelites, I know I know at least Pedro and I enjoyed it. Um, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. So um, they they have some stuff about other consoles, but we don't. We're not. We're not Linux, Nintendo, Switch cast yet. Um, it yeah. would be nice if they had some information on like I don't know making it compatible with the Steam overlay. <laughs> Maybe. Making it work properly in SteamOS. Yeah, that's yeah, that. <laughs> you know, considering yeah. that that game has printed money for them. And I mean, if you just, just put buying bitching gold plated Ferraris like on hold for like 40 minutes and get that sorted. So, mm -hmm. like, the mm -hmm. Proton version doesn't work better than your native version. How about doing that for us? That'd be nice. Yeah. It would, it would, <laughs> it would be nice. But that requires effort, and developers are lazy people. Maybe Valve could just buy it. <sighs> yeah. Maybe. 
So you could buy them exactly friend. like they did with the auto chess, uh, Dota auto chess people back in, uh, what was it, last month? Two months ago? Something like that. But hey, now we have more news about uh, what's happening with auto chess. Because, you know, they did buy them, so might as well monetize the shit out of it. And that's what they're gonna do. There is going to be a standalone version of Dota Auto Chess, which is not just a mod for Dota 2 that you could play. It'll be its own thing, so if, if Where that's you all that you need... bought them right here in the article that I don't know if you've read or not? I did I read, but you think I pay attention. Because, well, I was saying, <laughs> yeah, Val, yeah. Val, Val, Valve and Root, man, um, we've had great <laughs> conversations, but concluded that Valve and uh, Drodo could not work directly yes. with each other. Not not called Drodo. Um, yeah, no, uh, so <laughs> no, they bought the, the ha- game. They bought the rights to the mod. That's what Right, not 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 previously. not the developers, <laughs> as you said. But anyways, yes. um, so they're gonna, so they're actually going to be making two versions. Valve is going to work on their own. Um, Drogon is going to make their other uh, version. <laughs> so uh, China China's going to get the non dotified version, and the rest of us will get the uh, dotified version. I mean, it's not the first time that Valve has done something like that. What with you know Dota proper and stuff like Narbacular Drop. Uh, yeah. a, a lot of their popular new games were acquisitions. They acquired they acquired the teams or the rights or some combination of the two, and they made. Well, something dead. interesting that people seem yep <laughs> exactly uh hell even even t- hell team fortress was a quake mod yeah and then oh, yeah, sort yeah. Of became <laughs> there, one, there one is of their big all the makers. motivation that you need right there for you to continue working on your half-life 3 mod yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe one day it will actually be half-life 3 yeah there's just about like, <laughs> well, we'll it, just yeah. buy it from you done all right oh no, oh, no. And, yeah the, 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 this is this is in before like the black mesa team gets scooped up just before release. <laughs> hey, what's Half Life Remastered? We've been secretly <laughs> developing this for years. Yes. It's totally not. And we never story. see Zen. <laughs> no, couldn't do that. All right, uh, everyone's favorite. Uh, no one really likes this game. Uh, it's Total War: Three Kingdoms. Uh, same day uh, from Feral, they dropped this out as uh, from Creative Assembly, published by Sega. You know it. It's the Sega. same thirteen-year-old engine, and it's a new skin pack for it. And I know, you know. There are people who's like, no, Vin, you just don't know. I fucking get it. But you know what? I, I can also, Jesus Christ, it's $60. Um, yes. Yeah, right. These are popular thing, games. <laughs> well, Jordan, you said what is like 71 Canadian, right? Seven, 71 Canadian is way more than I would think anyone would like reasonably pay for this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you, you, I mean, you, you bring it, you bring up the only real retort here is that people who are invested in this series will buy the game. There's they no question. Do it. I mean, the, it, the, it, it could be seventy dollars. It could be a hundred dollars. They will forget the cash. It, you need 64 bit, eight gigajoules RAM. All right, uh, it requires Vulcan because that uh, it's a thing. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, here's the thing. I mean, if you if this is your jam, you don't even blink at the price. You just use this because this is the only thing in life that brings you happiness, and you're willing to pay, even though it's the same fucking game with like different. But <laughs> listen, both of them do that too. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and if uh, you enjoy the, you know, Total War series, you kind of do want to, you know, make a little bit of a shrine to Feral uh, uh, on the side of your den, because... If you're a Linux user into this, Feral is your... Man, you've sent them yeah. shit, like yeah. donuts. It, I'm, I'm, <laughs> they're like a godsend to you. It's like, oh yeah, I, I, all I, of the Total War games, give me. <laughs> I mean, I have, I have a shrine in my closet to King from Tekken. That's close enough, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> not Armor King. I prefer the Armor King. Uh, hey, man, <laughs> it's always good to see new games, even though it might not be our jam, but same day release, unlike uh, Tomb Raider. Mm, okay. I had to say yes. Three years later. <laughs> coming coming up next in about three years, when we finally get around to playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we talk about the latest and greatest NVIDIA promise that's going to be super great and not disappointing at all. Also, we got to talk about uh, got to talk about a bunch of cuties. Yeah, cute. Well, it's about time we lay... I mean, there's nothing left of the horse. It's basically just our imagination. We just keep spanking the nothing. But hey, if you'd like to indulge us and enable us in our delusions, there are several ways you can do that, and the choice is yours. You you get a roundabout way of saying, hey, man, you want to support the show? That'd be cool, because we'd like to thank you for it. This is awesome. Bye. No, no, you, you... 
<laughs> you see, we're so, we're solipsists, right? So all all our viewers are in our imagination already, and they're giving us all their money. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> see, what, what I like to imagine is the people who watch our show. We we have such advanced trolling and trolls and they're like you know what they're going to finance it just so they can hate on it some more indeed and they do that by heading on over to patreon.com <laughs> slash linux gamecast where they can give us money uh in exchange for a bunch of cool stuff like access to our discord channel early show note access you can watch this program as it were coalesce over the course of the week and watch us post shitty gifs at each other and just be assholes um you can uh, RS you can get an RSVP to some game streams. Ven and I occasionally do some of the multiplayer, and we open that up to some of the fans in Discord and in Patreon. So you can get a guaranteed slot there if you are so inclined. Um, and you know, if you want to just give us a ton of money, you can buy your way onto the show. Uh, we also we also have some uh, merchandise that you can cover your filthy filthy body in. Uh, you can go to store.linuxgamecast.com, buy yourself a Hellock sticker, buy yourself two, and you can stick them over one over each eye, and then you can be like. Jordy LaForge, except with more mayonnaise. I don't know. I don't, hey, um, man, can I be Jordy the Sphinx? Not a Jordy, I'm from Hartlepool. <laughs> they yeah, did unlock a thing on Teespring. I'm from Bristol. Uh, yeah, we, we got Frankophiles, Hellocks, and all that. We can do, like, full pattern dress. I could put your face all over a full pattern dress. Oh, my God. I want one of those. Do they, I do, do they too. sell them I in, like, it. 300? Do they sell them in, like, 300-pound man size? Because I kind of want one. Listen, I'll look into it for you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, also, Ben mentioned this very early on in the show, but with the, what we were doing thing, but we have we have an Amazon store now. Yeah, we did a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It took a minute to go <laughs> we're through. influencers. And yeah, right? <laughs> Be influenced. Suckers. We, we got Obey a, my dog. We got a blue jag next to uh, What I did is itemized a list of everything we have in the studio. This is We've been threatening to do this for probably a year and a half and I finally got around to getting it done because we get a mechanism to do it. So if you're curious about our audio stuff, our electric, you know, just backups and stuff like that, our lighting rigs, networking, storage, uh, video displays, all that fun jazz is there for your viewing enjoyment. Uh, it's just amazon.com forward slash shop. Like, just go to link scheme cast and it's under the about section. Also, since we're now part of this program, just to mention is uh i had to put it in again we got like a new whatever what do you call it like a slug or a tag for our affiliate thing which is now like linux game cast dash 20 it used to be like linux it was almost linux game cat but it, <laughs> it was like linux game cat so cat. that's that's changed if anybody's using that for whatever reason totally unrelated but i just thought i'd throw that in there because that's oh, oh, oh yeah if, 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 if you're using that old ass browser extension that uh, wasn't clickmated oh, right. or uh, yeah I mean, it, right i, I don't remember did. who did it either but if, if if you still have it installed um uninstall it now because it's doing some terrible stuff to your computer <laughs> oh hey nvidia is teasing something that might possibly uh do something terrible ter yes terribly it good might to possibly even suck you off for all i know because it says nothing in this old article from pc games Bullshit. and it's just shit it's a sub conjecture there, there there are definitely words on the page yes and basically nvidia put out a video it's a very short video it is included in the article it's like 17 or 16 seconds long and it's just the super logo in, you know, the same way that they present their new video cards. So, you know, speculation has been running rampant on the internet over the past few days because of 17 stupid seconds of fuck all. That That's literally all it is. Uh, and right now I'm going, oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be super uninteresting and... Uh, I mean, this is what happens when you go for this long without competition, AMD. And, you know, unless they're going to put out the 1650 Ti with the Turing and Vienk in quarter bits, I don't care. Yeah, I, I mean, every everyone wants the 1650. I'm super thanks for asking all things because I must I can be better, I must say. But, I mean, I don't think we're going to get it, right? NVIDIA's entire MO, their entire business has been based around of, hey, here's this really compelling feature you want. You got to pay more for it because screw you. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. Um, yeah, but like, like Pedro said, the article basically amounts to nothing. There's going to be a 
Um, th- there's gonna, there might be something at Computex or E3. We don't know. We just know that NVIDIA is feeling so very super because everything is super when you're then. <laughs> I, for one, unlike you two heathens, man, uh, NVIDIA, call me. Or just cut us a chuck. That'll be brilliant. Um, slightly faster and cheaper Navi competitors because that, that's, that's happening in, you know, Monday afternoon, Taipei time, however that works out. We're going to get Navi announcements and we're going to get uh, AM2 announcements. And I'm pretty sure NVIDIA is going to be like, okay, we're just going to drop something slightly faster and like eight cents cheaper um, just to cover the entire spread. But, you know, my first thought was like, are they going to release the Ray Traced Quake 2 RT? That'd be not- no, fuck that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> How about, are you going to like give me a $100 uh, encoding device like Turing so I can send these guys Turing encoder? Nope, Mm-mm, not going to. No. Anyway, at the end of the day, ultimately, I look forward to our uh, new tablet or mobile device because that's what's going to end up fucking being. It's called, the, uh, it's called the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> mm. It's called... It's called NVIDIA is trying to bring back the Microsoft Surface, but this time it's running Android or BSD. It's powered by NVIDIA, though. You can just buy a table. Mm. Anyways, uh, DXVK has a new version out. We talked about it briefly in the Steam segment with Proton up getting updated, but what does it mean, Pedro? What does it mean? Oh, hang on. One thing is for sure, apparently with last week's update that we talked about version 1.2, they didn't really get all of those performance improvements that they were claiming for Lords of the Fallen and the Surge, because here they are again. And uh, yeah, no, I did get a chance to try uh, Proton 4.2-5, that's the version that includes uh, the XVK 1.2.1, and yes, uh, the Surge, the at 1080p, in most places, it holds around 60 with the 1080. Yeah. Uh, and with this, uh, after this version of the XVK was loaded in with the new Protons, it went from 60 to about 80. So, which means I can now play the game at um, 2560 by 1440. It's 2K resolution. Yeah. it's It holds 60 throughout most of it, though that game does have some serious performance issues but hey i can finish it now so there's that <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right up next pcsx2 that emulator you, you use if you want to play playstation 2 games because there are no other ones like literally there aren't any other ones um <laughs> but they've been supporting linux for a while and finally someone has got around to actually porting the play plugin over to the linux build so now you can go play uh, some of your playstation 2 games online over the internet um it doesn't let you do something like catch player multiplayer over the network because that would be something that people want it would also be very very hard to actually pull off doing um you you'd essentially need to like run the same game and like keep all the memory in sync across the internet and that's just not a thing that will happen but at least you can hit the fan servers for stuff like final fantasy 11 or like the resident evil online the very very first one biohazard outbreak or time splitters or socom us navy seals or any of those games that i played in high school well actually i didn't play any of them because i didn't get a playstation network adapter but i can play them now are there yeah, even like play some better Gear Solid though, three like... the the what the uh network adapters yeah uh i don't think well i, I, th- I think at this been, point oh, just because okay of I, I think it was like yeah. the dreamcast ones that yeah. Yeah. like six people bought yeah i i, I mean a, a lot of people bought the playstation 2 ones just because they have the they had the pata pass through that you installed the hard drive oh and it yeah. also lets you watch the Netflix, which was available for the PS2. Yes, you had to have the special DVD, though. Mm. <laughs> uh, only, only available in Brazil, I believe. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's that's definitely a thing. It's been a feature that has been lacking from PlayStation 2, um, PCSX2 emulator. And I mean, these guys aren't as crazy as uh, the P- our PCS3 guys, but they, they would have been maybe 10, 15 years ago. So how ago. does this actually yeah. boil down, man? I mean... You're, I'm assuming there's no official anything online anymore, right? No, no, you, you have to you have to like change your DNS server so that you can use like the fan servers because all the yeah. all the PlayStation Two online stuff. I think except for Final Fantasy Eleven is shut down because Final Fantasy Eleven is still going for whatever reason. Huh. People are still into that. Pretty um, it's, well, there I, are I was kind of hoping uh, like we could just like get together, and I don't even know what would be on PS Two for multiplayer, man. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, yeah, there, there was a lot of a lot of like shooters and like co-op survival horror stuff for mm. the online Metal stuff. Metal Gear yeah. Solid Three was like the one I played. 
Oh man, uh, you you can also you can also unlock the skateboarding mode in Metal Gear Solid Three, and <laughs> yep. no, is Metal Gear Solid Two Subsistence and two. play that. Uh, yeah, that was two. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they, they actually they actually had one for three as well for um or is, it was Substance for two, Subsistence for three, but it also had a skateboard thing in it. Anywho, uh, let's talk about GOG, the hey. best storefront on Linux. Period. AM <laughs> because earlier there, Gog's like, yo, we got this 2.0 hotness. Don't you want it? It's going to be available uh, for all operating systems. And KM wrote on Twitter, he's like, hey, man, uh, Linux support will be available for Windows. Didn't even answer the fucking question, you motherfuckers. Uh, all your games and friends in one place. You can sign up for the beta. That will get released eventually, hopefully. And this is going to incorporate everything. And it's going to like suck in all your data bits from your console games, your Steam game basically lutris but doesn't work on linux it's kind of a dick move and you know what i'm done buying shit on gog fuck these motherfuckers uh i am curious though because in a video they said the end game here is to open source this right Mm -hmm. uh i don't i don't know if they they were specifically saying open sourcing this but they wanted to open source the integration stuff Mm -hmm. so that you could add uh you could add stuff for like uplay or xbox live or steam or anything like that so that you could you can actually have that sort of cross-platform chat but i mean so here here's the thing right considering up until a few weeks ago you actually had to email a guy at gog for ftp credentials if you wanted to send them a linux binary this does not surprise me at all. But what's even sadder, though, is that they've gone out of their way to write this stupid UI in QT, and they're not going to produce the Linux build. It's basically just spite now. They're, it's like, we we use the cross-platform tool specifically so that we could do this. Yeah, we're not going to use it, because fuck all y'all. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like their strategy. I, mean, I don't even know if I feel it's spite at this point. It's like, ignore it, and it'll go away, because that's, the, that's how Linux works. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller each year. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. It's um Gog can rot as far as I'm concerned, at least until they release a Linux version of uh Galaxy. Then then I'll reassess the situation. I I will still use Connect to get DRM free copies of my Steam games so that I can pirate them later. I mean but that's you know, I'll use Gog Connect, but you know, Gog was you see, they're not missing losing me as a customer. Trust me, we're not gonna cripple them financially because yeah. it was like an old game I needed the um resource files for it. I'm sorry, man. I'm not cruising the pirate pay to get a Quake or whatever <laughs> Unreal Tournament. I just go to Gog. You can up. get the pirated version from Gog. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole thing, man. At the end of the day, I'm just a little bit disappointed. I really am. Uh but let this kind of be a lesson to some of you who've been rocking and rolling, just gobbling that gog dick for mm-hmm. years. You're like, no, businesses... Despite the Witcher 3. Despite the Witcher 2. Pedro. <laughs> businesses Sorry. Oper- you want to talk over me again? I'll <laughs> fucking hang up on you. Um, businesses operate on fifis. We've established this. And long as you're nice enough to a company, they'll eventually make your Linux client, Right. Sure, nope. yeah. Uh-huh. All wait, all criticism is hatred and toxicity. And um yeah, that's how that works. So Oh, oh no, yeah. no, if 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 you if you demand stuff from companies in exchange for money, that's that's bad. Mm. No. I mean, it took a couple of years of shouting at Val for them to implement something like Proton, but they did. Well, who would have thought I, that I, Valve I, I don't. like what? <laughs> okay, fine. Good Valve. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, honestly, I, I, I don't think it was people bitching and complaining that got Valve to do it. Valve was like, "Yeah, yeah, peop, the w- Windows Store seems to be cooling down. We need, we need, we need like an actual backup for you know when Microsoft decides to cut the umbilical and we're fucked and left alone." Well, so, that's the difference between Gaben and Sveeti. Gaben's like, "Yo, we need a, we'll even do an operating system. We need so, an escape route." And Sweeney's like, "It's like moving to Canada." I'm like, "Jesus Christ." All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's I I've had I've had this conversation before where it's like pe- people people shit on open source and they demand perfection for people are way more perfectionistic about open source code than they are about code that they actually spend money on, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. baffles me to no reason or to no end. But it, that's basically what it boils down to. Sweeney, you don't like what's going on in Linux? You know, it's open source. You can contribute like Valve did, and now now things are looking up for gaming under Linux because of all this investment mm. instead yeah, of just buying instead of buying out publishers and developers and hoping I that their exclusives will bring for customers. For me, the best case scenario would be if GOG did what Epic did. It was like, all right, we'll just make a source available. You guys sort it out if you need to. 
Yeah, I, I wish they oh, did that, that for their would actual, not their take very launcher. long until it worked. Dude, yeah. It would be hour, <laughs> um, hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hour for something it, functional. It works. Yeah. 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 Hour for something functional. <laughs> week for something feature complete. I'm okay. saying cloud saves m- might take a day, but after that, we're done. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's well, just, just a matter of translating in. the API to whatever native code is running on Linux. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> but, don't, just don't leave him in Pedro's home folder. He'll get very, very mad. Speaking yeah. of which, coming up next, Pedro gets really, really mad about files in his home folders. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where the accused must survive trial by Fedoris, Solus, and Fedor. Fedor is best door. <laughs> yeah, Fedor. Fedor. Uh, uh, then and only then right. can, the, can the question be asked, is it fun? This week we're taking a look at Cluster Truck. It was at the $9 level for the latest Humble Bundle, so we picked it up. It's developed by Landfall. It's done on Unity Unity 4. We'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> you can pick it up normally for about 15 wet stinky bucks. You could have got it for 8 or 9 bucks on the Humble Bundles. What is it? Cluster Truck is a chaotic physics-based platform. Truck former. Not a, not a platform, or it's a truck former. <laughs> Optimus. Uh, jump, jump, jump your way through insane levels in a game of The Floor is Lava on top of speeding trucks driven by terrible drivers. Holy shit, who, who, who does the voice for Optimus Prime? Uh, Peter Cullen. Okay, now if we just had, we need to find uh, one clip of him going, ow, 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 so we can <laughs> sing it. Cool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no mandatory disclosure. We spent money on this one this mm-hmm. time around. Uh, shit, we didn't put in our uh, humble affiliate link though. Uh, we probably should have done that. Whatever. We you can, can do that one day. Ability. We 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 can do that later. Ben, did it work? Hey man, Fedorf. over here on Fedor thirty with a thread wrapper nineteen twenty X thirty two gig controls of RAM powered by a twenty sixty Vigia card. Um, no issues. Right of the box. I mean, it runs right after you close the Unity Scream them Nope, because that's the thing with this game. And more insulting, it's got all the options in the game. It's just there. It's just like a little extra fuck you. Uh, you got to close this before you play the game. Wasn't a fan of that. Uh, outside of that, I didn't even try it at 1080p because I cranked it all the way up to 3840 by 2160. Put everything on 11 and you really want to do that because there's a massive graphical difference. I mean between like low medium and then oh that doesn't look as bad solid 60 didn't have any issues there graphics what does it look like though remember lawnmower man about like that maybe a little bit better controls though when i saw the unity screen of nope i was like oh shit guess we're playing wait a minute what tap the xbox <laughs> control i was like shit's working yo all right we're gonna use that and i did for a minute but i had to change up near the end i'll tell you more about that in the fun section but it gets a solid three, but you get dinged one for having that old, old antiquated. Why is that still there? You can disable it because it's in the game. You can scream them no. Jay baby. EA, EA squirts. It's in the game. Uh, yeah, on Fedora 30. Uh, on I, I just this is on two systems because I I can do that now. Uh, on, so on the uh, i7 6700K with the GTX 1080 Ti. Yes, it does launched on the. Uh, uh, on the uh, FX 8150 with the <laughs> RX 580. Yes, it also launches. And yes, hello, Unity Scream of Nope, my old friend. I've come to talk to you again. Uh, performance in 1080 uh, runs okay on both the uh, 580 and the 1080Ti. Holds about 60. Uh, graphics. I mean, there are trucks, trees, and obstacles. You can see them all before you slam into them. And controls. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the dual shock worked, but like Ven was alluding to, at some point you may want to resort to Waz. I'll give it three. It's Unity 4. I'm, I'm, sur- I'm honestly surprised it's still working at this point. <laughs> well, yeah, the, the Unity screen of Nope is very much there, and as an extra fuck you, there's a pointless folder in my home directory. And, oh, no! And it's, oh, no! It is Here we go. An extra, it is an extra fuck you, because those folders are empty. So it's like completely fucking pointless, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, the performance, it holds 60, but if you're playing at UHD and you enable TSAA and ambient occlusion like you're looking at right there, um, the FURPs do drop slightly in between like in between levels during the level transitions. Maybe there is a bit of a series. drop. Yeah, the, there is. Uh, but it's I guess it's the load, so it may just be the uh, Steam runtime that's doing its thing. Um, nothing. It's more mm. It's uh, something is definitely wrong with the uh, TSAA filter because there are certain areas on screen oh, where it just doesn't get applied. It just straight up doesn't work in that particular area. 
It's not enough to dig in a chair, but yeah. Uh, the controls, yeah, that's where I almost wanted to dig it another chair, because if you, if you switch to the input uh, tab on the Unity screen of Nope, it's a fucking mess, like all the Unity screen of Nope uh, things always were. It's just not good. But yeah, it walks away with three. Three chairs for the mix with the working. Seems legit. All right, yeah. So it works just... Got, you always got a ding in a chair for the Unity Scream of Nope. It's twenty. It's almost, it's almost 2020. 19, baby. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it's, it's, too, it's too much now. Then, do you have fun playing for Cluster Truck? Go truck yourself. You know what? I, I, I kind of did, man. Because immediately, like within the first two minutes, Cluster Truck, it, it, it passed the, oh, hell, I, I better get my leg organs out from under this glass desk. <laughs> Test. <laughs> Yeah, you're doing something right, right there, game. Out of the box, it's like eh, you you did something because I mean this is this is like run, jump, die, RNG, borderlining on like just straight up bullshit, but it's done right. I kind of like it. And then the mutators show up and things get weird, man. Uh, hundred uh, percent. There's really no need for instructions on this. Um, it, like I said, man, it, el- it managed to elicit an emotional response. No, granted that emotion. It was anger, but it was the happy, fun kind of anger. The type of anger that shows up in a sweater and throws a watermelon at you. Uh, I, I, I was able to get right up to the area, like in area two, on like the grasslands, before using the controller was turning out to be merely an extra step. An extra, it was adding hard mode. It was requiring skill I lacked. Couldn't overcome it. So I picked up the gerbil and mouse, uh, well, gerbil and mouse and the keyboard and all that because I have three of them all of a sudden. And I ended up like in this weird contorted stretched out position because I had to keep my knees out from under the desk, which could shatter. And I was like, ah, ah, ah. I, I was riding the hog, man. I did manage to bullshit my way through another level that way. Uh, but I had to tap out due to the contortion that was required. I was having a fun time, though. But I didn't want to wake up tomorrow with, like, no feeling in my left pinky toe again. Now, it is silly fun, and you can pick it up in this week's bundle for seven wet, stinky cash. Do it on your own. You don't need to use our affiliate link. You're going to have a good time with it. Uh, Doesn't matter. Um, It's probably going to be one of the better games, if not the best game, during this month's uh, series of titles that hopefully leave folders in Pedro's home directory. It's a bit of a challenge I set up for myself. But I'm going to say three. Uh, even at full price, this is, this is something to keep around, have at parties, or just if you want to break furniture. The fun type. Yeah, pretty pretty, pretty much you're, you're only going to be pulling this out at parties after you've played about an hour of it, because that's it's, it's just another one of these rage platformers that insists on being in first person and not showing you your feet, so you just are not sure where you're going to land, and then you die, and you gotta restart the level over again. I'm sure there's some kind of strategy that you can use to squeeze out seconds and stunts, and like, there's there's how, like some hardcore thing. How the trucks thing. are RNG, man. I know. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. As far as I've put it together, your presence on the truck will impact how it drives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it'll impact its ability to drive directly into a fucking wall the second you touch it. Yeah, or off a cliff, or... Yeah, there's that. Or just... Exp- yeah. Or yeah, or yeah. There, there, there were a couple of moments of like, I think I'm doing okay, and then a truck explodes in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Um, but that, yeah, um, it's it's enjoyable at first to sort of run around, jump, slam into things, and occasionally make it to the finish line. But honestly, it gets a little too fucky for my taste after a while, and I'm just not enjoying it all that much. Um, and unlike something like Paraneum, where like I can tell, I can, I can I can see the mistakes as I'm making it and like try to improve. There is no such thing here. It is just. Fucking try, try, try again. You're basically Tom Cruise in that one movie that they keep changing the name of the movie. To, the I, I got to be honest though, I'm, I'm having a good time watching Pedro suffer. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, this this is a fun 100. percent This is a fun game to watch people play. It's 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 the whole point of this like YouTube rage game thing. It this mm. is 100 percent that. Like the first time I saw this game was on Game for Grumps and was watching it yep. for that exact reaction. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's it's just it's just too fucky for me. I'm and after after a while, yeah, the the the, fa- the fact that like you gotta like maneuver the camera as you're jumping makes using mm-hmm. the controller kind of impossible. That's where I had to put while. the controller down. So yeah, it, you you like RNG, just not in real time. Um, I, I like I like RNG when it's a component to the game, not when it's the only thing. 
No, you, you can uh, bullshit your way through this. <laughs> you absolutely, you absolutely can with enough time and effort and trial and error. <laughs> right. um, if you keep the video playing, I did. <laughs> if you get your mindset in the, we'll just continue doing this until the pain stops. Yeah. Oh yeah. Per, per, this is one hundred percent slamming your. Uh, the, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again. One of the things that kept me result. going was the letter boards, though. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe if you're a hyper competitive sort, that might not keep even you going. that. I just saw that Popey. Uh, and I yeah. was like, yep, gotta beat that. Yeah, Poppy played this. Yep, and I was like, yep, gotta beat yeah. that again. I gave up on Pedro I, because it was obvious on like map three. Pedro's already went to Google and found a way to cheat because he's like, oh no. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, you're like, watching you, you, me play you, right you, you, you ran into the same. Time. You ran into the same thing with Pedro and Distance, where he finds bullshit shortcuts. Anyways, mm -hmm. I've rambled on enough. I'm gonna give this one share. I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, it's not my. It's not my jam. Yeah, it is fun. It, if the question here is whether or not it is fun, it is. It, it, it absolutely is, because you just saw me fail over and over and fucking over again, and I'm not done yet. There's more failing Please. happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, it's one of those games that keeps me le leaning all the way forwards and sitting at the edge of my chair, and it's very satisfying after you finally manage to beat the level, or even if you get into a level and you beat it on the first time around or the second time around, it's like, really awesome. Mm. But then, <laughs> of course, unfortunately, these past few weeks, uh... There's been a bit of a theme with games creating folders with stupid files on my home partition. And this one, it's even more stupid because the stupid folders are empty. It's I, for the past three I, weeks. I, 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 I'd like to rescind my folders. score. I, I'd like to make it a two now, two chairs, <laughs> because Pedro is just so, so visibly distraught. <laughs> by having <laughs> these directories in his home. And that, that is fun for me. I don't know, man. The, one of the things is you, you can see this. When you, when, you, when you think the bullshit's over the games like that, do it again, monkey. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you know, uh, for the past three weeks, there's been three different games and each require their own folders in my home partition and they're all called something different. So it's all completely fucking pointless. So, once again, the game loses a chair because it was going to get us all at four for the fun. But, I like how because you of you technical incompetence. on that box and games like, nope, <laughs> back to the beginning. Yeah. Th 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 this because is of technical incompetence, it only gets three for the Aww. fun. <laughs> all right. Well, again, Pedro has a very, very strange fun barometer. But, anyways, you can, you can pick this game up for cheap if you want to grab it on bundle, bundle still, or maybe pick it up for full price if this is your type of Do you think we could uh, speedrun it? I think Pedro might be able to speedrun it. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> we, we, it do is doable? Day, maybe? <laughs> I, yeah, I, sounds like a word I, oh, I, I, I am 100% sure there is like some freaking pro online who's like on AG, AD, well th there's AD, a bunch AD, of AD. cheaters online because if you look at the top of the leaderboards you'll see zero 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 how many yeah. times did you google that I didn't google it I just looked at the top of are the you, leaderboards uh, in game <laughs> how are you using Bing these days I got it I feel you that's the best out. place to look at porn anyways coming Peace up out. next we talk about some hate mail. Uh... And it's about time we put a bit of a bow on this show. What we did. Some weird and... fucked up bow, man. This bow's like disease. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, we've been going on for a while, but it was mostly technical issues. If you weren't watching it live, it may, you know, actually be a good one to go back and actually watch the... Uh, full unedited version just because there was fire there was plenty of fire and if you'd like to let us know how disappointed you were because you didn't watch us live and uh i don't know you i i don't I, I don't think anyone's gonna go yeah i avoided that and i'm really disappointed <laughs> i intentionally didn't do it and whoa, you got me there pedro i'm sold but hey maybe your house is on fire so <laughs> Let us know. Go to LinuxGameCast.com. Don't worry don't, about don't, calling 911. It's fine. Don't, 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 don't worry about being in a burning building. Just send us some emails while shit's on fire. Yeah. LinuxGameCast.com. Hit the contact button. Make sure you pick LGC Weekly for this particular bit of hate mail. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just uh, let us know what you think. 
a house burned down and whatnot. <laughs> so uh, first up is, uh, well, it's a developer that technically their game isn't out yet. So I guess they get a pass. Um, and uh, Skisguard, Skisguard says, st- we st- are... Stellan Skisguard? Yes. Uh, we are a two-member team working on a pixel... He says, hi. Hi. We are a two-member team working on a pixel platform tactic game, almost got it right there, named Irkala, coming to Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. The game features mech and demons battling in a desolate world. Here, you can see more about it, and there's a link for their website. The project has gone uh, through some development difficulties, but things are finally coming together, and the reason why we are contacting you is because we are looking forward to announce that the game development has been reactivated, and it would be awesome if you guys could help us spread the word. Thank you very much, and looking forward to hearing from you. All the best. Skizga. Skizgaard. Whatever. <laughs> so, I, 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 I guess because they have no distributable binary, we can't actually test it. Because they don't have yeah. any code. Nope. Yeah, no. They, 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 so it, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 there you go, developers. The best way to get your game on Linux Gamecast <laughs> Weekly is to tell us that you're starting to code it. Um, Good luck, man. Uh, hopefully the project doesn't eat butt again and uh, you finish making it. You know, I, I did have a look at their screenshots, and it looks like you know the first Risk of Rain, where someone actually took the camera and put it. Oh, not like the that second one where it's not available on Linux. Yes, the second one's not available on Linux. Ah. It is a Unity game too, so motherfuckers. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's the pixel art does look all right, and I hope it does turn out to be a really nice game because yeah, visually it looks good. All Andrew, right. I, Next, but definitely not last, uh, Matthew, he's coming in. He's like, best recording device for lazy people, question mark. He says, I would like to capture footage from the Lutris box, which is a thing he has. Prototype. Okay. But I don't want recording to affect performance. Plus, I'm pretty lazy. This has been established on multiple occasions. I have a good i7 workstation next to the game console that can be used for recording. What would be the best device at this time to record 1080p 60 foot footage off an HDMI output? I'm not looking for something cheap, but I don't need any fancy features either. Just something that gets the job done easily on Linux. Also, Jules chairs a penguin. This boys. This bizu. De bizu. Yeah, Sorry. you fucked it up too. So <laughs> don't yeah. 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 Well, if if only if only there was some sort of like website hosted by Amazon that nope. documents all doesn't of the, exist. Quit lying to people, man. All, all of the all the stuff that we use might might be helpful. I I, I don't know. I don't know. Look, there it is. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the black version of this. <laughs> Racist. It is the same device. I have yet to get brave enough to crack it open where I can find the actual chipset so I can just order directly in AliExpress for like 10 bucks. Uh, LS USB. It gives you the chipset. <laughs> that that that's it's, non-searchable. It's, it's, not, it's not hard enough, Pedro. You gotta, you gotta get a tool and crack it open. <laughs> if you want something that is a little bit higher quality and really not much more, um, the Elgato Camlink. Hmm. It's gonna run you about 125 watts sneaky cash. Same thing, USB three. Uh, it's just class compliant. You plug it in, it's gonna work. Uh, it's a little a little nicer than these, but these get the job done i mean at yeah. the end of the day <laughs> you, you you did a review on those and you posted it on linuxgamecast.com didn't you didn't you see the part about him being lazy <laughs> like, i was so lazy I was, you I, can't I, even put a video on is like okay maybe i should it. figure this hey, out then, then, then i was too lazy to read that part hey <laughs> oh shit one upsmanship <laughs> what i oh, can't compete with that no sir mm. uh, no bombs, but yeah, so let's go ahead USB and cue the music. Three. You can always find us around 9.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time, where we try to get this nightmare train pulling down the tracks, and sometimes it just eats all the dicks like it did this evening. We still power through it. We like the challenge. At least I I like the challenge for like the first 10 minutes. I'm sick of it. But hey, I like doing a show and I like hanging out with everyone. If you want to be in touch with me, I'm at Ben Stone on Twitter, or I think just at Vin on mast.linuxgamecast.com. Go get federated, fam. I, I, I was... I, I can't come up with a good Dominion joke for that. I'm Jordan Swung. You can find me at the Burning Fool on Twitter, or uh, at Frojo at... 
Google Plus doesn't exist anymore. I almost, I almost said plus run swung, but <laughs> you, I mean, you, you can try going to that URL. I'm not sure that's going to be particularly helpful. What, what about no. you, Pedro? Are you still on Google Plus? Uh, I don't know. I haven't actually tried to go to google.com for it slash plus Pedro Mateos, but hey, if you'd like to, I don't know, scream in my direction, because... I mean, old deities know that I deserve it. Uh, you can do so on Twitter. That's usually the preferred way. Just at unaccounted for. That's F O U R at the end. And it, yeah, I am on Mastodon. I'll get a notification if you ping me on there, but I don't really hang around. I just go there for the federated timeline because there's a lot of basically, porn. He, he'll get a notification. He'll spend like 30 seconds like, I'll remember the login. Where. And <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. Google I, remembers I remember that login password. for me. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, what we learned tonight, um, shit can go wrong, but you know what? We also learned that we are the most persistent motherfuckers. I, don't, I, 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 I can't speak to our quality, but we show up. We're, we're quote unquote consistent. We're, th we're there. Thanks everyone for making this possible. Let's uh, have some credits and kind of show you off. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vod Vodkitis <laughs> Accoutrements <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, we, gotta, we gotta thank all the freaking uh, Executive producers executive here producers, Make, make it happen Foxy, Foxy. MT, Atomic, Mike G Or Brent Drama 7, Aldis, Aplo Mac Geek Oh yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, and, Frank's and back Meh <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 great. I miss, I miss the guy. How's how's he been? Yeah, I had to patch him up. <laughs> we had well, a domestic well, anyway. uh, dispute. <laughs> you punched. Why, yeah, I did. Why are you beat? Why are you beating up Frank, man? Listen, what did he man, ever do to you? Listen, you it, punched. <laughs> it was a crime of passion. <laughs> oh, you Frank. punched this call clean off. <laughs> yeah. Well, why, why do why do you think he's wearing glasses now to co cover up those black eyes you gave him? You know, I had to fix the glasses. Oh. <laughs> Serves you right. I I blame the sun hat. <laughs> you just see red and then you get enraged. Actually, I saw white in the dark and brain's like, you know what? Punch that. We'll ask about it later. There, there there's ah. some follow ups there that I'm not gonna, I'm not I'm just gonna hit the eject button on. That, that's because you pieced <laughs> out. Pedro knows the whole story. <laughs> Bad. Diana, ah. sweet, lovely fire. You beautiful. Beautiful people. Five dudes. <laughs>